Please welcome to the stage She Rocks the World Ambassador, Gabby Martis. Hi, I'm Gabby Martis, a sophomore at Centerville High School, and I'm extremely excited to introduce our first adult honoree of the night, Ann Malum, founder of SolidCore and Back of My Feet. Anne created Back of My Feet to help people struggling with homelessness heal through fitness. Back of My Feet was used to help and founded in Philadelphia in 2007 and uses the power of running to change the way those experiencing homelessness see themselves so they can make lasting changes in their lives. There are now chapters in large cities throughout the U.S. Anne is also the founder and owner of the boutique fitness company SolidCore one of the hardest workouts ever, as proven through Michelle Obama during her first ever workout, and is rapidly growing. SolidCore has expanded to 36 locations since its 2013 founding here in DC. Please help me welcome Ann Malum to the stage. I don't follow rules very well, so I'm not staying behind that thing. Uh, good evening, everybody. Thanks for having me, and what an honor to be here. I appreciate the, the award, and I was asked to give an example or two tonight about how I've used my voice to, you know, get where I am in life. And the most relevant example I thought to some of the people in the audience was the back of my feet one. I started back of my feet when I was 26 years old. And there's a big, long story behind it, but for all intents and purposes, I was running like I did every morning in Philadelphia, and I ran by a homeless shelter and saw a group of guys outside that I started to wave at, and they started to wave at me. And I thought to myself, running has been so impactful for me in my life, helped me get through my dad's addiction issues, my parents' divorce, and it made me feel invincible like I could fly. And if it made me feel so strong as a messed up 16-year-old kid, Maybe it can help these guys who are experiencing homelessness in the same way. So I decided to start a running club. And after a couple weeks of this running club, and again, there's more to the story. It took a little bit of convincing from this homeless shelter to let me do this idea. But after a couple weeks of running with these nine guys every morning, uh, I began to see something pretty incredible happen, which was that you can't cause or tell anybody that they need to change. It has to be voluntary. And I was watching these guys show up every day at six in the morning to go for a run. They were showing up, they were on time, and they wanted to be there. And I watched the reaction that these guys had when I would take a marker and color in the miles that we ran for each morning. And they would push and shove for the best seat in the house behind my shoulders to watch me give them credit for the work that we did. And both of those things were really so simple, but really powerful to me, which is that if these individuals don't change the way that they see themselves, they're never going to get out of this homeless shelter. They're going to be stuck here for the rest of their life. And I was certain, so convinced that this is what I was supposed to do. This is what I was put on this planet to do, was to build a nonprofit, to create programming, raise money, get a staff, and help these individuals through the power of running, change the way they see themselves so I could get them jobs, get them employed, and get them housing. And it made so much sense to me. It made no sense to anybody else. And I had this big fancy job waiting for me at Comcast that I was supposed to start in a couple of weeks. And so I did the smartest thing that I could think of as a 26 year old and I called my mom. And I told her my dilemma and told her that I you know, felt so compelled that I was supposed to build this into a nonprofit. And she thought I was being foolish and a little impetuous, irresponsible, you know, and be an adult. This is not what you went to college for. What do you mean you're going to walk away from this job and, and start a nonprofit? You're going to raise money and take a salary and hire staff? This sounds ridiculous and, and very Pollyanna of you. This is not the, not the girl that I raised or the woman, I should say. So I called my dad, you know, and my dad also was concerned for my safety I'm from North Dakota, so there isn't a lot of sort of prevalent homelessness that you can see on the streets there. And so he was confirmed for my safety, wasn't supportive. I talked to other mentors. I talked to my friends. I couldn't find one person. It's kind of like as a girl when you want to cut your hair short and you ask your friends, and you're like, yeah, don't do it. <laughs> uh, most people look good with short hair. 
So that was the one time I knew in my, in my life that I was going to have to sit or walk out on that branch and ask myself three questions. First two were about everybody else. What if everybody's right? What if this idea is silly and it's not going to work? What happens if it get cold? If when it, what, what happens when it's going to get cold? Are these guys going to stop running? And maybe this idea is just sort of, you know, a fantasy of mine. Maybe everybody's right. Okay, what if I try it and I don't, you know, I, what if I tried anyway and uh, everybody quits and I'm left with a bruised ego and nine pairs of empty running shoes? Again, what if everybody else is right? But the last question was, what if it works? What if I'm actually right that I can help change these guys' lives by changing the way they see themselves? And frankly, what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is it doesn't work out. And what I realized in that moment is everybody else's voices that were trying to impact and influence me, those were everybody else's insecurities about their capabilities and about what they thought that they could do. And when you realize that you don't have to be so scared about failing, that the worst case scenario is a lot less scary than what you think it is, you realize you're pretty invincible. Thank you.